right? So moving on, so what are the key stages of modeling? All right, so there are three main stages of modeling. The first stage is the real world. So the real world situation of your business. So you have, you have, you are doing your business in Nigeria. Inflation rate is 17%. Then interest rate, NPR is 11.5%. So if you want to borrow money, you have to pay 11.5, at least 11.5% in interest, right? The, the government is considering moving the country is considering moving subsidy. If you, are, if you are doing a freight business, the cost of shipping your goods is very expensive. If you are trying to bring in raw materials for your business from the north, you know that there's, there's a lot of violence going on in the north. So that might help, that might increase the price of the goods that you want to buy. And then all those kind of considerations you need to, all those kind of technical considerations happening in the world are just all over the place, right? And then for you to know, so you need to understand all how those things, the implication of all these things and how you affect your business, right? For you to understand the implication of all these things and how you affect your business. And then once you understand this, it now helps you drive or create the right strategy to implement the right strategy to do your business and outmaneuver these problems. Right, and then the stage of then building the model, articulating this, your thoughts, articulating the assumptions of how you think, what you think will happen in the future uh, is the implementation stage, right? And then the decision stage is the final stage where after you've built in the models and you're building the key things you want to see, you can now make the key decisions you want based on the key, based on the lots of work you've done in building the model. Right, it now brings out the decisions clearly and simple, sim in simple formats for you to digest and leverage. Right, and so moving on. So, having said that, so there are three stages in building model, in building a financial model. Right, so what are the key considerations, key things you need to consider before getting started? Right, so. So the first thing is, what is the objective of the financial model you are building? Right. So, for example, you may be building a financial model to simply just show you to simply just show you the expected financial performance of your business. You are building a financial model to show you if maybe you sell your products at a loss for maybe one year, how would that affect the amount of cash you have as a business for that one year? And then you understanding the less amount of cash you would have can now guide you on how much you need to pull from both from the debt market or both from banks or from wherever you want to pull from, right? And that's another purpose. Another purpose could be for your company wants, your client wants to buy another company and they need to do evaluation. So that's the goal of the model you're building, right? Another company might build a financial model because they want to use it to, to do their budgeting exercise at the end of the year. That's another consideration you need to take. You need to put at the back of your mind when building the model. Another company might be simply building the model to show investors on the expected performance of their business within the next three to five years and why investors give them money so that they can start their tech startup or whatever startup they are trying to start. So understanding these objectives will help you analyze the help you analyze the right things that needs to be analyzed and then help you show the key metrics that the person who wants to use the model would want to see. Right, and then based on these objectives, you will then need to answer your question: Is this model going to be used frequently, or is it just is it going to be used just every year for budgeting? Is it going to be used by investors who just want to see once or twice? Is it going to be used if investors want to use it? They might want to see a granular model, but if you are using it for just a marginal acquisition, you don't need to show a very you don't need the model doesn't need to be too granular, right? And then after knowing this, you also need to understand and know. What information do you currently have? So do you have the historical balance sheet statements? Do you have access to discuss with management on some of the key things they are trying to achieve as for their business within the next few years? Are they trying to are they trying to increase the amount of goods they are selling in two years' time? Are they trying to increase the volume of goods and then reduce the price? Are they trying to increase staff or reduce staff? Are they trying to are they considering borrowing more money? Are they trying? Are they considering if are they trying, considering doing a forward integration or a backward integration? 
All these insights will then help you building the assumptions you need for your financial model, right? And then finally, you need to understand what the client or what the user of the model, if you are the one, wants to achieve with the model, right? So do you want to use the model? Does the person, is there an investor that wants to see the key metrics, like how much cash is your business expected to make in three years time? How much, how many customers your business expected to have? If it's for someone, if it's for a company considering buying the company, they want to see how much should we buy this company. If it's for financial, if it's for budgeting purpose, they want to see how much should we allocate to HR department, how much should we allocate to, how much should we allocate to operations, how much should we allocate to, to, to purchasing and purchasing and supply, how much you have allocated to these various departments. How much you have allocated to sales and marketing? That that's the goal of the budget. So if the client wants to see that, you can then now be building a model for a financial for evaluation purpose, right? And then to build your financial model or to build a model, you need there are three key things or three main acts you need to be wearing while trying to build a financial model. The first is you need to be a finance expert, right? You need to understand three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. You need to have a basic understanding of accounting, and then you need to understand Excel, right? So you need to understand how, you need to understand functions in Excel, understand how to design your model to make it easy for people to read, and all other things that needs to be done on Excel, right? And then finally, you need to be able to design and you need to be a good visual designer and architect, right? This means you need to be able to design and structure a model in such a way that it's easy to follow through your thought process and easy to easy to read and look through what you've done. So you don't want to build a model that is excessively complex that only you can understand. Or even, or let's say in three months time when you open the model, you, you start spending two hours, three hours trying to figure out what you did, right? You don't want that to be the case, right? And these are just these are some of the three main things you need to take note of if you are trying to build a financial model. Right. I know there are questions, but we'll take them at the end.